Hello, my name is Sebastian Passion. Today we're going to look into how to clean up the components when it comes to calling API data from, from APIs and so on without actually having behavior subjects or having, for instance, uh, Redux state management and so on. Uh, so in this case, usually when you call an API, you want to have some loading states. You would also want to know whether there's, a, there's an error and maybe you would present something whether it should be an error and so on. So as for this, we would essentially just print the data that we have. So in this case, we would be able to fetch the data if you have an error, and if we would have any error, we'd be able to see it and so on. But look at the amount of code. So I mean, from 20 to 33, it's like 13 rows of code in order for, for us to make this. So an alternative to this would essentially be to create a class that usually does this boilerplate code for you once and you can test it once in one place and so on and it would make total sense. So for instance, let's go ahead and create a class called performClass.ts. <clears throat> so we'd create the class perform. We would also give it a generic type because the data might vary, vary from API to API. We would also define a, a variable data we would also define some loading states. Some has error state that we had before. Also, we want to have the action, which is going to be the, the API call that we want to do or the, the, yeah. So after that, we'd have a function. Let's call the function load. In this case, it, it would take an action, which would be the observable that you want to have. And usually when you start to make an API call, you are going to set is loading to true. You are also going to set has error to false because you haven't usually fetched anything at all. We'd also want to store the action here for per, for some reload purposes and so on. Uh, and now what we want to do is essentially we are going to, to do what we did in the component by here. So if we catch an error, we're going to set the data to be undefined. We're going to have is loading false. We're also going to set has error to true. So this means that we can generalize how this logic is going to happen across the whole application that we have. And once it's successful, we want to actually set the data. We want to set is loading to false and has error to false, essentially because we actually receive the data. What I usually do, if you know that we're going to call the API once and once only, I would also add take one here so that it unsubscribes to it per automatically. All right, so here we have the load function. So how would this work? How would we be able to work with it in the app component? So it's it's quite easy. If you have worked with class before, it would be quite straightforward. So we, let's call it data. So to create a new instance of the perform class that we had, we're also going to give it the type because now it will make sense and have full intelligence within this component to see what would exist under the data. All right, so instead of having all of these different boilerplates that we had before, we're going to be able to say this dot data. We're going to call the load function that we had before, and we're going to pass in the observable that we had. So what this will do is essentially it will call the API that we had before. It's also going to utilize this loading and has states, and it's going to place the data within data dot data in this case, because that what that's what we named it. So if you just print the data now and see what it happens, you'll see that it, it actually has the loading state and has error state and it also have grouped the data here. So for us, it would be quite easy now to distinguish this here by doing data.data .data to, to only receive the data and we should be able to look through the data quite easy from the HTML. But we could also go ahead and say, um, we'd have some error messages here being prompted ng if data has error unable to call the API or maybe it would be unsuccessful to call the API maybe that would make more sense anyway this is one way of actually creating a clean pattern within the components because you don't want to handle this uh, for each and specific case so for instance if you would have 10 different apis that you need to call in in a component for for some strange reason just imagine how much boilerplate you would have to create for that thanks for watching please leave a comment anything you would like me to to go through please anything drop a comment thanks for watching